farming is cyclical, but some cycles take longer than others. Today, forester Tony DePaulo is supervising the partial harvest of a stand of loblolly pines, trees that at 20 years old haven't even reached the halfway point of their harvest cycle. What we're doing here is we're performing a pine thinning on an area of woodland that's owned by the Shockley family, tree farm family, in the Snow Hill area. In other words, not all of these trees are coming down, at least not for a few decades. But removing some of the trees now gives the rest more room to grow. There's a constant battle going on in the forest for resources, sunlight, water, nutrients. What we're doing when we do these thinnings like this is we're mimicking nature. So that instead of taking 100 years to grow a stand of trees, maybe we can grow that stand of trees in 40 to 45 years. At which point the area will be clear cut and replanted with pine seedlings, starting the cycle all over again. But for now, the chosen few are felled, delimbed, and stacked on a truck bound for a nearby chipping mill. The trees that we're harvesting here in this stand today will end up being in various paper products that people would use every day. Logging looks a lot different than it did when the Shockley family first began buying up this 300-acre plot in 1896. At that time, they didn't have equipment to haul it with, so they used teams or oxen or whatever, or horses, and pulled the trees to the river and flowed them to Snow Hill to the sawmill. But there's still a Shockley at the helm. Bobby Shockley inherited this property from his cousin 16 years ago and named it in her honor. The name of the farm is Just Ordinary Woodland. No matter when you ask her how she was doing, it was never good, it was never bad. It's just, I'm just ordinary. So we thought it would be a nice way to remember. But like all tree farms, these woodlands are far from ordinary. Whenever you're going down the road and you see that tree farm sign, that is telling you that sustainable forestry is being practiced on that property, which is really a big deal. In order to earn the status of certified tree farm, Woodland properties have to be managed, not only for wood and fiber, but also for other, less tangible forest products. They're looking at all of the myriad of benefits that you would get from forest land, including clean air, clean water, wildlife habitat, biodiversity, protection of wetland areas. Even recreational activities like hunting and hiking. And it's all outlined by the farmer in a forest management plan. For Bobby, safeguarding these resources has been a lifelong pursuit. I started working with wildlife ponds in 69 and 70, when at that time it was Soil Conservation Service. We did wetland creation, we did farm drainage, we did farm land improvement, and I thought it would be so nice to have a spot that you could walk out in and see the water ducks come in, or mallards, or a turtle. And I never dreamed that I'd have something like this. Until he inherited the farm in 2000. Before 2000 was out, we built the first wildlife ponds. And then in 2001, we built the berms and created 50 acres of wetlands. By 2004, it was a certified tree farm. The wetlands capture water before it can leave the site, preventing runoff. They also attract visitors. And Bobby does his best to be a good host, putting up nesting boxes and Getting managing weeds. Bar. You would think if anybody could eat something like this, a deer would do it, but they don't, they don't graze on it. And it covers up everything else. So we've been trying to control it, but it's sort of a tricky job. You use the right amount of spray to kill it, but don't hurt your wildlife. In the end, this level of care for the land is what the Maryland Tree Farm Program is all about. Tree farms are a beacon to other people to see how proper management can be done. And families like the Shockley family are really someone that we all should look up to because their tree farm really does benefit all of us. Providing things like clean air, clean water, even natural beauty, and making it clear that tree farmers like Bobby definitely can see the forest for the trees.